Alright, so boom. I seen GQ, they do the little series where you like half of my first million. You know, they had the athletes, the rappers, the content creators on there. And it's cool, you know, they be getting the jewelry, the cars, they get their mama a crib, just on some cool shit. But unfortunately for me, I have not made my first million. Aww. But the one thing I can relate to is blowing money, you know, spending money. I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's a lot of niggas out there that's broke, bro. I ain't gonna say I'm dead broke, but I done had some lows, you know. Life is ups and downs. I definitely felt the downs. We had some ups, but I definitely felt the downs. I ain't gonna lie to you. So they be saying how they spent their first million. I'm gonna do half to my last thousand because I'm a sophomore in college. But my freshman year, that stuff got expensive, bro. You know, I, it was my first time living on my own. I was making some mistakes. I was having some slip ups. So, you know, we got, hold on. You know, I keep it on me, hold on. You know, we got the, we got some bread right here. And we just gonna uh, like do what GQ do, you know, different pals. Just show y'all exactly how I spent my last thousand dollars. So basically how I went broke. Cause I did basically go broke my freshman year. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't go dead broke, but it felt like I was broke. I couldn't do nothing, so. Let's get into it. I should show y'all the fit of the day. It's some calm stuff, but you know, I'll be fresh every video for real, but look, we go. It's a Virgin jacket. I don't even know where I got this from. But even if I knew where I got it from, I'd still gatekeep it from y'all because I don't want y'all in it. But jacket, you know, we got white tee, my chains, my cross chains. We go Subi on the jeans, and we go Ugh, Mason Margello on the feet. Y'all seen me before, so I don't really gotta get too in depth. I'm not that flexible. These jeans tight, so I can't. Why? Why ain't just take that off? I wouldn't think it, but yeah. Focus, focus. Yeah, get into get into it, bro. Mason Margello, thanks, bro. You don't got these. Y'all know how I get. But all right, man. That's for my last thousand dollars. I came into college like a few bands up, you know. I had an internship with some for college. I had been doing content, so I was making money. I had money put up, but I didn't realize. That was like kid money, like high school money. You know, you're not spending that much. You don't got bills and stuff. You don't got stuff to pay for. I went from having decent money for a high school student. No, I, I had good money for a high school student. Don't get it twisted, bro. But then I went to college and I started spending money like I was still in high school. That's where our problem started, but so, our first misstep was two weeks into college, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You know, my niggas can relate to this. Or even, you know, my females watching this too. I know my shorties, y'all can relate to this too. Like, love will make you do some crazy things, man. Some absurd things. And that's how, that's how my spending spree started for real. Because I got to college. Our first slip up was two weeks into college. Y'all gotta keep that in mind. Two weeks into college. Like, I'm still getting adjusted to my campus. I'm still getting adjusted to my campus. And you know what Young Motion did? If I had a girlfriend or whatever, she went to another school, I'm like, let's go see her. If I, you know, let's go see her. But it's like, my parents, they sent me to college and it's like, I knew telling them, they were gonna be like, nah, you know, you just got to school, stay there, you know, getting your books and stuff. I know they weren't gonna go for it. So I was like, dang, how can I present this idea to my parents in a way that they gonna let it slide and support it? Like I could try to reword it. See, I'm going people, I'm like, I could just not tell them. I could just sneak. I could like, bro, when I tell y'all I snuck to, and Shorty went to school in Alabama, bro. That's the South, like, you know, they be lynching niggas what they used to. I hope, do they do that, still do that? I don't know, I'm gonna do my homework on that. I'm gonna get back to y'all, but. Yeah, so it was a dangerous trip. This was like two weeks into school. This was damn near like a Nickelodeon sitcom episode. Like, you know how TV characters, they be getting some, themselves in crazy situations. That's really how I was my freshman year, bro. I was like, I'm gonna go to Alabama. And I ain't have my car freshman year. So I learned about this thing, you know, the Greyhound. I done heard about that. It's like a bus that take you places. I'm like, dang. A, a bus can take me there for, it was a $35 ticket there and then $35 back. So I'm like, $70 and I can go see my girlfriend? Like, we turn. So, you know, cop the little bus ticket, but then I'm like, oh shoot. You know, I think she stayed in the all girls dorm. I'm like, I can't stay there. I need a place to stay. So I go online, cop a BNB. The BNB was 150. The bus ticket is $70 on a ticket. So that's already about, just, just imagine these 20. One, two. This is the money for the Airbnb. And then this is the money for the, what's it called? This is the money for the bus ticket. Now this is, $220, bro. That was my first 220. But as you can see, a, a thousand is not that much, bro. So you see, that's already, we done took a big chunk out of it. And this is two weeks into school. You know, of course, when I went there, I was buying food, I was doing shenanigans. So, you know, it was a couple more dollars, but I'm just focus on the big things for the sake of this video. Cause I'm not like, I'm not an accountant, bro. I'm not gonna like go back and do every purchase and go, especially cause this is like two years ago at this point or a year and a half. I'm like, nah, that's doing too much. But yeah, so that was a trip. And I had a nice little trip, but no, 
crazy story. When I went, you know, I have calls with my parents every Sunday. So I was like, dang, they gonna know I'm not in tally. Cause oh, so this the money, but hold on bro. I gotta tell y'all how I really executed this trip. Cause I, I wouldn't recommend none of y'all doing this, but if you gonna do it, I'm a smooth ass nigga. And so y'all gotta be smooth. Y'all can't be sloppy. Y'all don't want no sloppy work if y'all gonna sneak somewhere and not tell your parents. So there's a couple things we had to account for. Number one, mama got my low. Number two, family FaceTimes every Sunday. So them are the two things I'm like, those are the two things that could get me caught up. So I did my little research, you know what I'm saying? Should I put y'all on or should I gatekeep? I'm gonna put y'all on. If y'all run away from y'all parents and y'all end up getting yourselves killed, y'all parents, they not finna get on my ass cause I'm telling y'all not to do this. But if you wanna do it, it's some like a find my phone, like computer thing where I plug my phone into it. I had to pay, it was like $14. I had to pay for it and it would change my low. It basically changed your IP saving in another place. So I did that to make it look like I was still in tab. And then it's like, it literally stay like that until you turn your phone off and turn it back on. So I downloaded it, set my uh, load of tally. I get on a Greyhound, but a Greyhound trip was crazy just cause it was like, you know, if, if y'all never been on a Greyhound, it got like a couple of different sp stops. And it's like, you know, I would stop somewhere and we going through Alabama. Like I go to school in Florida, Alabama is like, probably like up here like, bro, we was going through the South, bro. Alabama racist as hell, y'all know that. Like the only niggas they like there is the niggas that play for Nick Saban. And Nick Saban really quit, so black people might not even be good at Alabama no more. Yeah, we going through the South. I was a little spooked because I was there by myself, still young as hell, 18. But I'm like, nah, I felt like a grown man. That's why I went on this trip. I went on this trip, I felt like I was a kid. I'm like, I don't care what they got going on. I, like, I don't care what they got going on. I'm my own man. They not gonna come take my stuff. So I just, you know, kept my bag on me. I'm like this, the whole bus ride. It was like four hours. So, you know, I get to Alabama, it's cool. I see Shorty, ooh, you know, having a good time, whatever. Boom, I get there Friday. Friday, cool, Saturday, cool. Now it's Sunday. On Sunday, you know we got that call with mom and dad. So let me show you, I'm gonna show you exactly how I got away with this, hold on. You know, it was football season. This was early on. This was in, in about September. There was football games going on. So I'm like, damn. They know what my dorm looked like. And I don't got nothing that looked like my dorm. I'm going to show you exactly what I did. Hold on. Give me one second. Let me show you exactly what I did. You see this? Got the party sounds. Hold on. I like this. That's how I have it. Uh, hello? Now, actually, I might as well take y'all to the, to the scene of the crime. Hold on. As you can see, you got the uh, computer right there. Oh, and I just, the party sounds. And the trick is you got to get the angles right. For, you got to get the angles right. You can't have too much of you in it because then they're going to see like the bathroom and stuff that you're in a different place. You hold the phone like this, like barely. Nose, upper lip. Definitely not bottom lip. You show the bottom lip, they're going to be able to see you lying. It's cooked, bro. I'll give you maybe the top lip, bro. And then you do this and you make sure you're moving the camera and then you just... You just talk real close in there, look. Hey, mom. Oh, you yeah, know, we at this little watch party for the game. Yeah, yeah. Nah, it's good, how you doing? Yeah, nah, I'll be out in a second, hold on. All right, nah, I just wanted to join the call and tell y'all that. I'm gonna I'm a call y'all back uh, tomorrow sometime later this week. All right, love y'all. It's that, so it's like, it's that, like, I was really wrong, like, that's the one thing. My ocean ain't never been sloppy, like, I be doing some outlandish things and I never get caught, bro. I'm a smooth nigga, but I really want to stop doing the outlandish things just because it's, like, not good to do. But if I'm going to do it, I'm definitely not going to get caught, though. It was cool. After that call, I was good, man, you know, enjoyed the rest of the trip. I think I left Monday morning at, like, 5 a.m., hopped back on the Greyhound. Crazy, I did all this and shorty ended up cheating on me, but, bro, that's life. You know what it is. That, that's life. You see, you know, you, you can't control what other people do. You can only control what you do. So, it's whatever. But, uh, that was the first 220, you know. So, we're doing pretty good. We got about, if I could do some good math, about $780 left. Then we moving on. So step two, then we fast forward a few weeks. Like a few weeks after the trip, I found out that I was getting uh, cheated on. I'm sad, bro. I'm like, dang. You know, Central C dropped a song. He said, mm, 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 mm. I need some retail therapy. And nigga, that's what I was on, bro. I needed something like, I needed something to make me feel better. One thing that always made me feel better was getting fresh. Y'all see it. I'm doing a sit down video and I'm still fresh as hell. So y'all know I like clothes. So let me show y'all something more. If you really watch my channel, I showed y'all all these before, but you know, y'all don't be tuned in for real sometimes, so I gotta, uh, hold on, focus, 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 give me a second, focus, what'd it say? 
Palm Angels t-shirt, cost a nigga rent. That's what Rio said. But yeah, we got these Palm Angels shoes. You see, I got the gray laces in them. These was calm, bruh. I needed these. I seen them, I was like, nobody got these. Y'all know I like shoes that nobody got, so. That was cool. Uh, these ran me, the retail is, I believe, 515 or 595. But I actually got mine on, I got a good deal on mine. They was having a sale on, and clothing, I think it was. Yeah, it was it was end. See, I'm putting y'all on. Y'all can find some good deals on there. And they was going for like 230. And I'm like, 230? For a $500 dollar shoe, bro? Yeah. That's half off. Even though it's still way more expensive. Like some little kid in a sweatshop probably made this for like 15 cents. And I paid $200 for it. But I mess with them, they hard, so it's cool, bro. But that ran me about another um, two hundred thirty dollars. So twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred. Bro, counterfeit money. It don't like. It's not smooth. I can't thumb through it like little baby in that one video. That's what I be trying to do. I be trying to feel like Franklin or a Ghost. Is all right, bro. There is another two hundred thirty dollars. So you know, did they make me feel better? Not really. Not really, I was still hurt, but it was like, it's cool. I always liked fashion and stuff. And like, I got to drop some hard Instagram flicks. With the fit, not as hard as it used to be, but it was like, it was different, bro. I put, a, I had on a purple outfit and the caption was hard. Every time motion drop flicks, his caption's gonna be crazy. I said, you can't tag along with me, bitch. You not purple jeans. Cause you know, purple jeans got the tag and I was wearing purple jeans and it was white purple jeans, but the fit was purple. like. That was really different, bro. I'm, uh, <laughs> y'all know how I get. Y'all know I'm a creative ass dude. So, boom, that's cool. Next big expenditure that led to me spending my last thousand dollars and putting me in a hole, making me dead broke, broke as hell, on my ass, cooked, finished, done for. You know what I'm saying? It was homecoming, bro. If y'all go to HBCU, y'all know a little something about homecoming, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Homecoming, it gets serious, you know? All the alums come back. Everybody turn, everybody outside every day. Monday party, Tuesday party, Wednesday party, Thursday day off. Psych, Thursday party, Friday party, Saturday party, Sunday party. Why'd I start with Monday? Like, Sunday ain't the first day of the week, because that's the Sabbath. Shout out God. Shout out God. You know, I be shouting out everybody. Gotta shout out God, bro. I love God. He really put me in a position like, y'all gonna see, I was broke. And God really helped the nigga out to, so now I can still, you know, make some content for y'all. But yeah, so parties every day, then you know, you party and you be hungry, you gonna get food, you know. But actually, let me say one thing that I really don't like about this little party stuff, man. I mean, it's cool, but like, niggas be trying to charge, like it was one time during homecoming, it was a nigga crib and they were trying to charge me, I think it was $20 to get in a nigga crib. I'm like, bro, I came to college to get out of a nigga crib and y'all making me pay more money to get into a nigga crib. Like, come on, bro. Like, you taxing. I get it's a homecoming. It's a lot of people here. You trying to finesse. You trying to make your little bag. But come on, bro. This much money to get into a nigga crib. This is not a venue. Y'all do not have staff. It's probably one of y'all roommates in a room trying to study. Mad as hell. Y'all throwing a party. But he sweet as hell, so he ain't going to do shit. A nigga like me, I'd say something. But that's... Moral of the story, bro. That's weird, bro. Like, y'all be overtaxing, bro. And even for the ones in the club, bro. I got a bone to pick with Eventbrite, bro. Like, it's cool. The party, it say the ticket $10. I put it in, I add it to my cart. Eventbrite talking about your total is $29.99 for a $10 ticket. They talking about tax, um, shipping and handling for a virtual ticket? Bro, they just be, what j Main say, they be over whooping, bro. No bullshit, like, I do not like that. The whole party ticket, that's why I'm really cool on going to parties now. You know, we bought that paper right now. We just trying to drop videos for y'all, drop TikToks every day, YouTube content, IG content. Like, I'm locked in trying to get this bread. So, I'm cool off the party, none. But when I was into parties my freshman year, that hurt. I feel like, I feel like you really got to, uh, like, when you first get to college, you got to go through a little phase. We trying to go to all the parties and stuff. And that's how it was. But, all right, but, yeah, it was about homecoming, just on the party tickets and, like, party-associated things. That's about another 150 we have 450 plus 150 is 600, see? I'm really a genius, bro. So we had 150. So you know, we're doing uh, pretty good. This is about, and all this was in the first of, all of this was during August, September, and October. The three months, we done spent this much money. And it's not even kind of all the little expenses. I know I spent a lot more than this, but it's cool. That was fall semester and it was cool. I was already doing kind of bad, but you know, I was still hanging on by a thread. 
But spring semester, that's when I got fucked. That's when, that's when I got financially taken advantage of by Uncle Sam, bro. Like, I mean, Uncle Sam only do the taxes, but I'ma just blame, blame stuff on him. Like, you just sometimes you just need a scapegoat. You know what I'm saying? Like, blame a nigga for that shit, even though it was fully on me. Just like how in the 2K community, like. Ronnie 2K, I think he just promote the game. He don't got nothing to do with coding and stuff. I think that's like Mike Wang in him. But whenever you miss a shot, niggas be like, fuck Ronnie. Fuck Ronnie 2K. And it's like, that's how I'm finna be with Uncle Sam. Every time I go broke, every time a play don't go my way, I'm gonna be like, that nigga, Uncle Sam on my dick again, bro. Let me not say that. I'm trying to stop cussing. Sorry for cussing. Shout out Sketch. That nigga funny. But look, man, uh, spring semester got wicked because, you know, it's my first college spring break. Hmm, where should we go? Nigga, the, the Yams, we going to Miami for like, you know, that's the only real option. So it's like, we had to go to Miami, bro. We was going in a group. It was like, I think three niggas and three females, three girls, my fault. I know some of y'all don't like me talking, like me talking females. I never got that, but y'all could explain it to me. Oh, bro, candle that dinner. Nah, I'm playing, I'm not my bitch. But, 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 the Miami trip, yes, it's, we had to buy a BNB. We had to pay gas to get there. It was a seven hour drive. People think just cause Tallahassee and Florida that it's close. No, we at the top of Florida. Miami's at the bottom. We had to drive the whole state. That was crazy. But you know, just going to Miami. Y'all know crazy stuff going to Miami. So it was just, it was a bad spent. I ain't gonna lie. But on the major stuff, it was only about, it was about $300. But also y'all gotta keep into account. Y'all pay like 300, that's not shit. Bro, I was, I was 18 and I'm not, I'm sorry. Maybe some of y'all is like, uh, some of y'all is Mr. Motion, like having that shit, like just cool as hell. And just that ain't shit to y'all. It was shit to me. Y'all may say that's not shit. It was shit to me, bro. $300 is shit to me. I ain't gonna lie, bro. So that hurt the pockets a little bit. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 220, 240. Got three hundred dollars, but yeah, so I, it was three hundred dollars. The trip was more than that, but I'm really low balling it because I wanted, like, I wanted it to be like a thousand dollars, but I wanted to, you know. But yeah, this was uh three hundred dollars. Going into the Miami trip, you know, I don't know. Some of y'all might have been through this. Y'all be thinking like, can I afford all this? Like, I know I'm spending more money than I have. Like, it was certain moments where I'm like, huh, I think I'm gonna go broke. It was like. I don't know, like, I don't know exactly how the Great Depression was. Of course, I wasn't alive for that. But, uh, I'm just thinking, like, they probably, it was probably something in the air, like, they like, I think motherfuckers finna go broke. Like, I know somebody was thinking that, but they just didn't want to say it. But, yeah, so it was, like, it was the first day when we, when we went to Miami. Uh, Ada, you know my nigga Ada, he was there. And then he was, him and his shorty, they was going to get tacos. But they was, like, getting it for everybody. And we was, like, calling place your order. So now I called him and it's like, I ain't never really ordered from an authentic restaurant. Like, bro, when I be at the crib, like in Chicago, nigga, it's like, I be at Harold's, nigga JJ's, Sharks. Y'all probably think them different restaurants. Now that's like three types of Chicago, Chicago style chicken, bro. It's just like chicken, bro. That's my favorite food. That's what I be eating for real. And I eat some stuff, but I ain't never really had an authentic Mexican restaurant unless we're like Chipotle count and that don't count, bro. So when they like, okay, we finna get you some tacos. I'm like, all right, bet. They like, what me? Nigga, the only taco I knew was, was like ground beef. I'm like, what you mean? And I didn't even know what that was called. I was like, uh, taco meat? They was like, steak or chicken. I'm like, I know steak is brown, so they eat uh, steak. I picked that. They was like, what you want on it? And I'm thinking, uh, lettuce, tomato. Because I think, also, I would have tacos. My mama would make them, but it's like, she made black people tacos. Like, just ground beef. Lettuce, tomato, cheese, like, I'm thinking that's all the taco is. So they ordered it from a Mexican, Mexican restaurant. I hear the nigga on the phone, he got a crazy accent. You know, he's speaking Spanish and stuff. I speak a little bit of Spanish, the quito, you know, but not enough. So he uh, talking, he talking about uh, all the stuff they got. And I'm like, uh, let me get lettuce, tomato, and cheese. And that's what I said. So then we hang up, you know, we chilling at the B&B. We turn, we like, hey, yeah, sir. Like, we, we lit, you know what I'm saying? But. This is when it gets crazy, bro. Cause like, nah. So you know, we chilling, me and the rest of the guys and the girls, we just chilling, waiting on the food, waiting on Ada and Shorty to get back. They come back to the crib, they like, all right, here go everybody uh bill, you can just send it to me. This nigga give me my shit. This shit say $30 for three tacos. I'm like, bro, what? I, I look at it and they charge me for the three things I said I wanted on it. 
I didn't understand that like at Mexican restaurants, when you order, like if you order the steak tacos, they already got stuff they want to put on there. Like they make it their own certain way. So when I said lettuce, tomato, and cheese, first of all, the tacos was already $20. That's insane. They went lettuce, $3. Tomato, $3. Cheese, $3. I'm like, nigga, y'all ain't say that? Like, y'all ain't let a nigga know? Like, y'all wasn't going to... I was blue, so what... But that was just the moment. After I paid $30 for my first meal, and it was for three tacos, I was like, I need some pay. Like, this is not... This this trip is not going to go hot. Thank you, Will. Then, oh, let me show y'all. It's another spare thing I did on that trip. All right. <laughs> Un segundo, guys. Don't don't go nowhere. Don't click off, bro. Just, just give me a second. I'm, I'm gonna find it, bro. But so, boom. You know, you go to Miami, and you know you there. It's just like sometimes you just get around so much. Like it was, it was a whole bunch of exotic cars. It was bad females. It was like celebrities, like YouTubers and stuff. Like if y'all was watching me back then, like I was doing videos with like the YouTubers that was out there. It was just a lot of money out there, and it's you know you start feeling out your body. Like bro, I had a fit on. I had my little Palm Angel shoes. I had. I got it right here. I had a little Palm Angels hat. I was fresh, you know, I'm feeling myself. You know what I'm saying? I got all this stuff. So, you know, sometimes niggas get in your ear, you know, you got it, you know, you 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 like that. Niggas be like, oh yeah, you fresh as hell, you feeling like money. And especially, bro, one of the things, the other thing, oh, this is a key detail I gotta tell y'all, bro. Niggas let me go to Miami with a credit card, bro. And a credit card is like, you can spend money that you don't have. I mean, I had it, but did I really have it? You gotta think. When it's not about actually having the money. It's do you really have it? Cause nigga, if you got a hundred and one dollars, should you buy some for a hundred? No, you have it, but you don't really have it. And I had it, but I did I really have it? That's what I learned later on that year. But yeah, so you know, we on we on a strip, whatever the Miami strip. Then we start walking all the stores and stuff. We go to the vape store, and I see this tea right here. You know, it's a basic tea, and it's like. I had the purple Palm Angels hat and the purple shoes, you know, I'm like, but that'd go perfect. You know, I got purple shoes, it'd be wrong. I see this, I see this motherfucker $100. Now, normally, if they would have caught me in Chicago, Tallahassee, shit, Africa, China, anywhere else in the world, I would not have went for this. But it was like some in that Miami air, it was like all the, all the shorties and bikinis, all the niggas with big chains on, I'm like. Fuck it. You know, and you know, I had the credit card. I had to let Discover. Discover starts talking to me. You got it. Go ahead. You can afford it. You gonna make it back. <laughs> so y'all already know what I did. Y'all already know what I did. Man. But yeah, there go $100 right there. So according to my calculations, hold on. So that's, I was at 450 then I was at 750 Now I'm at 8 I had $150 left. Y'all probably like, okay, so motion. Where did that, uh... Where did that last bit of money go? That last audio, last thousand? Just honestly, bro, we just gonna have this last category. We're gonna call it the uh, the miscellaneous, okay? You know, sometimes just college college happens, especially after spring break, I knew I fucked up. Like I got back, I was looking at my Discover bill and looking at my bank account, I'm like, hmm, one of these is greater than the other. <laughs> When I, you know, it was, it was just too, like, I ain't, I spent too much money. I ain't gonna say how much I was spending when I spent too much money. So I was really trying to chill, but that last $150, I ain't gonna lie. It went to the bad stuff, bro. It was like, I was like, you know, you're gonna get this, its own little separate category. My last 150 went to this uh, poor decision making. Poor decision making. There were some times where I just wasn't using my head, you know. I ain't gonna get too into detail. If y'all want some story times, I'll get y'all some story times, but like, you know. Say sometimes, going to battle unshielded. You going to battle unshielded, you get knocked. Then you gotta go buy a med kit so you know you don't get eliminated. Cause I, I'm not gonna get eliminated, bro. If anything, the little guy gonna get eliminated. Nah, let me chill, let me chill, bro. I'm trolling y'all. I'm trolling. This is a GI Jane just relax, bro. But yeah, like you know, that's poor decision making. You know, sometimes going to a couple more parties, poor decision making. You know. Got food in the crib. Want some DoorDash. DoorDash charge you double the price to pay the little driving nigga who probably gonna take some of your fries, probably gonna sip your drink on some weird shit. Bad decision making. So that was really, that's where my last 150 went. But yeah, so add all this together, you know, 
add all this together. And we got my last thousand. That is how I spent my last thousand. That's how the young nigga went broke, man. You know? I didn't go broke. I wasn't fully broke. I was very, I was closer. Let me tell y'all this. I was closer than I ever was to it. Like, I ain't never been broke. But yeah, I was very close. Like, I, I was like, wow, this is not as much money as I started the year with. And I was sad, bro. I didn't know what I was going to do. Like, the content was doing good, but, you know, it wasn't doing good enough for the damage I had done to myself during that year. But, you know, I was praying on it. I was like, God, you know, I know you got me. I know you're not going to leave me. Girls left me. Niggas changed on me. People switched up to family act weird, but God never changed. God never left. So I was like, you know, God, I'm going to put it in your hands. I'm going to be like, hey. I'm just working.